Okay, on the channel, we've got one of the more interesting new characters in the G.I. Joe Pantheon released in the, or created in the last 10 years. We've got the retconned OG-14 Joe, Jody Shooter Craig, on the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. Some figure fans, where I got it figured, back with another G.I. Joe classified review. This time we're looking at Night Force, Jody Shooter Craig, a Walmart exclusive figure. Um, I picked this figure up on walmart.com a couple of months ago. Um, and just with the hectic scheduling I've been trying to do, I'm just now getting around to doing her review, so apologize for the lateness. But I definitely wanted to get her in uh, before the end of the year because, you know, creating my top 10 uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series figures of 2023 is already going to be daunting. And I definitely wanted to handle this figure so that I could evaluate whether or not I was going to put her on that list. So let's see what we can see. So we've got her out with all our accessories as normal. And we've got her box. We're going to go over that. Uh, we'll do some articulation, some story notes, and we'll compare her uh, with some other figures in the G.I. Joe Classified series. So, um, as I said, Jody Shooter Craig was a um, retconned original Joe. Um, you can check out JLS Comics video on Shooter. And uh, it's pretty pretty extensive with uh, what they did with the character um, in A Real American Hero. All right, so looking at her package as normal. We've got her fantastic uh, toy art. Uh, photography and she is surrounded by deposits of dark energon in a sort of low key transformers crossover you've got your night force logo you got your in shot of her artwork and of course you've got her loadout comes with a couple of things we're going to get into those things here in a bit including our sniper rifle and then here's our qr code which does not work but we're still going to save it here for posterity and on the other side you've got a larger picture of her inset art of course as usual on the back we've got the tail of the tape with our accessories and some insets she stands at 5.9 inches she's got tattoos and some sort of gauge on her vest and then she's got file card symbols here it looks like she's got three marksmen, three long range weapons, two recon, and two covert ops. All right, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Taking a look at Shooter's accessories, she comes with sort of high tech sniper rifle-ish type weapon it does have a blast effect port it also has a magazine insert so ironically it's a tad bit bent but it bent when I was taking it out of the cardboard that was, you know, designed to keep it from 
bending. Um, you know, you can just be heated up a little bit to get straightened out completely. But uh, it's a nice rifle. I mean, even if it's not like a real world rifle, you, you get the point. And, uh, you know, they're definitely going to have to address this weird plastic that they want to use for the weapons. I'm in agreement with most G.I. Joe YouTubers on that. And she does come with a sidearm, a smallish pistol, also has plastic back port, you can see there. Decent. So calmish looking gun. And she does have a combat knife. And then she has this backpack thing that's meant to uh, allow her to uh, carry her snipe rifle on her back. And most interestingly, she has an alternate hairdo. And we'll show that on her head here in a bit. And in keeping with Night Force, they all seem to be having gas masks or something. At least Big Ben did. She doesn't come with an entire alternate head, but she comes with this gas mask that you slip over her head in place of the hair and this one seems to um be mimicking the hairstyle she has there it's you know it's, it's the same hairstyle as what she's wearing right now which is how she comes in the box and that is her accessories Taking a look at Shooter. Pretty nice portrait. Attractive, but not cover girl. You know, she's a soldier. Well, nice belt. I don't think we've seen any of this stuff before that she uh in terms of her overall body. These arms though, I'm pretty sure are the same arms as Lady J. Maybe I should have pulled Lady J out to compare, but I didn't. So we're gonna take my word for it. shoes you know she's even if she is an original joe or whatever we're saying she is she's definitely not um dressed like them and of course this is the night force version so i would expect perhaps another shooter to come out maybe they'll make her in the gray that she was wearing before uh she joined night force but we'll see In terms of articulation, she has the standard GI Joe classifier articulation. She does have butterfly joints here. There's your T pose. She looks up, um, encumbered by the hair. Looks down, has a chicken neck. Um, the vest. She has the female diaphragm. And so her articulation in the bendy part of her body is not all that great, although she can go back pretty far. She doesn't go forward very much, uh, but obviously the, the vest is sort of doing that. Of course she has drop down legs. Thigh swivel and her boot cut is here at the boot. Pinless, pinless legs, obviously, 
in his arms. Wrist rotation. Such as it is. Oh no. Looks like a solid figure. We're gonna get her geared up and uh, take a look at her. Be right back. Okay, so here's Shooter geared up. Wanted to start her off with the rifle on the back, just to show how that would look. Um, oh, there you go. So I, I noticed that my my right ankle on this figure it's a little loose so the rifle she'll stand up on her own but with the rifle on her back it's it's sort of destroying the figure's balance but i wanted to show that that's how it works um, so you just stick the uh trigger part in there i'm gonna take it off though and give it to her Similar to her box art, she can hold the rifle. No word yet on if she can stand with it. Yes, she can pretty easily. She got that. And then, of course, there is the question of her hair. So you just pop her off, that's her head. Swap it out. And she's got a different little hairdo. It's not bad, I actually like it. Um, I don't know, I like it. I'll probably keep the other one on though the default hairdo but you know i don't hate it it's pretty cool and then of course you have the gas mask apparently you need that to be around dark energon and it just slips on and again, it's the same hairdo as her default look. Which is partially why I'll probably keep it on her. And while we're here, we'll look at her tattoo. In real life, looks like a tattoo. It's pretty cool. There you go. That shooter, her accessories, her geared up look, her hair, and gas mask. 
Next, we're gonna do some comparisons. Okay, first and most obviously, we're gonna bring in her Night Force co-worker. Go Night Force Big Ben. Big Ben's an imposing figure, very rather large. Then for the inevitable female size comparison, I figured we'll bring in Scarlet. They're just about the same height. Scarlet's a little bit taller. But not ridiculously so. And wanted to bring in one more original Joe. And initially I was going to bring in Stalker because that's what I normally do. But I saw a Grunt. So I grabbed him instead. That's your 6.3 inch figure. with those guys and then finally we're going to bring in the other sniper guy we're going to bring in low light there you go now the other thing I wanted to show is you know in my low light video I couldn't get a scope in I actually ended up sort of prying it open with a um very small blade and now his scope is working but once again I accidentally bent the rifle but you know what are you gonna do so there you go so that's your comparisons I'm gonna move on to final thoughts G.I. Joe will return after these messages Back to G.I. Joe. Final thoughts on uh, Night Force Jody Shooter Craig from Walmart. Um, love the figure. Think she's great. Uh, she is mostly new. Um, I believe her upper arms are the same arms as Cover Girl. Not Cover Girl. Uh, Lady J. But since I didn't pull Lady J out. I'm not sure, uh, but she is definitely mostly new, and uh, and it's cool to get you know, she's not a new character, but it's cool to get characters that aren't necessarily um, a real American hero, even if they interact in the real American hero world. I mean, like you know, classic original characters that aren't retconned. Um, but she makes a nice addition to the team, and uh, I'm pretty pretty glad to have her. Um, I'm going to give her a 9. I'm not going to give her a 10. I don't know why. But, you know, she's a great figure. I don't know. Maybe I just feel like something's missing. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think a 9 is good. She's a 9. Like, she's not... You know, there's not a nostalgia thing to, to add anything to it. She's not a, uh, you know, must-have A-level Joe. What you get with the the package is decent. Um, yeah, I think nine is fine. 
So that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna go with it, the nine. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I thank you for watching the videos. I do appreciate it. Um, G.I. Joe Classified is sort of taking over the channel and it's not, uh, it's not going to abate anytime soon. So uh, come back here for more G.I. Joe Classified series content. It's definitely coming. As we get closer to the, you know, holiday, everybody, you know, definitely stay safe and, uh, you know, squeeze squeeze all your your peoples today uh is my oldest daughter's 14 14th birthday so i want to give a shout out to nyla my my daughter and uh and i'll see you all on the next video peace the way i got it figured